Rain is in Gaston County, Cherubel, North Carolina, where they did have a lot of severe weather. Big storms over there. How are things right now, Richard? Well, everything that we look at is in darkness, Larry. Let me step out of the way and let you take a look. We're right here off of 150 and North Cherville Road. The only lights are our lights and the few cars that you see, which is good news for these workers because workers have been asking or the, the county has been asking people, especially in Cherville, to stay off the road so workers can get their work done. Uh, this is uh, North Cherry Road at where it crosses 150. You can see in the distance at McDonald's. Um, uh, gas station as well as Caramount Health, one of their facilities, all in total darkness. That's the same thing every place we drove early this morning. Now, as you take a look at some video, you can see work crews out this morning trying to clear that debris, those trees that fell into power lines, those power lines, getting them out of the road. Very dangerous situations. That's why they ask residents to stay off the roads to allow them to do their work. A lot of people, thousands of customers, in darkness this morning. A lot of the crews we spoke to say basically right now they've cleared away as much as they can. They're in the process of waiting for Duke to come back to start the process of fixing those power lines so they can get this power restored. But as you can well imagine as we come back here live that there is a lot of work to do. There are some people who are getting back on the roads, but as you can well imagine, it's important for folks to give these emergency workers enough room to get their jobs done so they can go about the process of getting the power restored right here in Cherville. Of course, this is a terrible traffic situation. There are no lights or anything as you can see behind me here, but for an overview of all of our traffic situations,